time. We've all played the game for one reason. There we go. Three warps to Uranus. Woohoo! Hi, welcome back to the Spanless Gamer, where I'm playing every ColecoVision game in order of release. And if you haven't, please like, subscribe, and notify. And we have three games, or four games today, sorry. We have Frogger 3, or Frogger 2 3 Deep, a very confusing title. Uh, Gateway to uh, Apshi, uh, Gyrus, and Hero. And our first game today is Frogger 2 3 Deep. And the box art looks like you have a drunk frog who's got a chicken by the leg. Okay. Okay, game. Let's play ya. Select one or two. One. Yeah, we played... We have played this game on other systems. Okay. Music was distracting me. That's That, that was my problem. That's just bonus points or something. Oh, boo. Let's try that again. There is more screens. You can... You don't have to get into these logs. Or maybe you do. Yeah, see. There's more to the game. Don't really know why... And now we're in the sky. Yeah, I don't know what the point of any of that is. Let's just try to get into the logs. That's why it's called 3D, because there's three different screens. Yeah, I know. I figured that out last time I played it. Still a weird name, Frogger 2 3D. When they're advertising the fact that the game has multiple screens. I'm just going to wait here for our friendly log to come back. Yep. We did it. I guess that's all we can do on this screen. Yep, I've lost my interest. Graphics. Uh, the graphics are okay. We'll give those a four. Sound was there. We'll give it a four. Music. I did have a little music. We'll give that a three and a half. There is no story. Controls are five and a half. Funness, a four. I think I prefer original Frogger. Does it hold my attention? A two and a half. And overall, it's going to get a four. And that was Frogger. Two. Three deep. Let's see what's next. Our next game is called Gateway to... Apshi, Apshi? I don't really know, but this is the game box, and apparently we play as a neon sign fighting neon crabs or something. It's a strategy game for the action game player. Okay. I know Epix more for their sports games. Press the side button to start. Your character. Push button to go on. Your equipment. Dagger. Leathers. Armor. Yeah. There's a rat. And a snake. Or a dragon. I don't know. Snake. Looks like the dragon from Adventure. I have a short sword. I have a lead coffer bat. Golden scepter. Silver scepter. I don't know how to fight. Fight. Oh. Short sword. Fight. Short sword. Drop item. Keys. Search spell. Locate trap. Check status. Fight.
change my weapons? Did I drop my things? I don't know. I have no idea how to do anything. I'll wiggle my sword at you, sir! You have been slain. Okay. Well, that was gateway to that thing. And the graphics aren't too good. We'll give those a three. The sound was not that great. We'll give it a three. Didn't really have music. Story, uh, a one. Controls, a three and a half. A little complicated. Funness, a... Yeah, we'll give it a four. It's an interesting RPG type thing. Does it hold my attention? Uh, two and a half. And overall, it's going to get a three and a half. Let's see what's next. Our next game today is Gyrus, based on the arcade game. Uh, also one of the most impressive sound-wise games on the Atari 2600. This is the box art. It's for the ColecoVision. And let's get right into this game. Gyrus from Parker Brothers. We played this on the television. We played this on the 2600. Maybe we played on the 5200. I don't remember anymore. Anyway, let's, uh, let's play it, if it will let me. Feels like the same soundtrack from the 2600 version. Actually, it feels a lot like a port. Slightly better up graphics, maybe. Yeah, not much in the way of sound effects, though. They used all the power. Well, there is some. More than the 2600 version had. Which was no sound effects on that one. All the memory was used for the music. Oh, he exploded. Damn it. Stop exploding, you coward. Yeah, spinning. That's a good trick. Now, we've reached Neptune. Did I do it? Did I do it again? I didn't do it that time. No, I did it. Oh, the red ones. The red ones are wily. One of them must have got away. Come on, we've all played the game for one reason. There we go. Three warps to Uranus. Woohoohoo! Lost my power up. That's lame. I exploded again. That's also lame. Aw. Game over? Game over, man. Game over. Okay. Graphics. They're not the best, but they're not horrible, so we'll give those a five. Sound. Uh, not a lot in the sound department. We'll give that a three and a half. Music, I'm going to give that a ten. Story, uh, zero. Controls, we'll give that a seven. Funness, a six. It's a pretty good port. Doesn't hold my attention. A five. And overall, it's going to get a seven and a half. That was Gyrus. And we have one more game. Hero. Let's play it. All right, our final game today is Hero, or H-E-R-O. And the box art looks like this. Helicopter Emergency Rescue Operation, and we got our hero. I prefer the 2600 box art for this. It had the goofy, cartoony version of him. Really big, nice graphics. Uh, let's play the game. Oh, well. 
This is certainly an improvement to the other versions of this we played. Seems like the same level design. Yeah, this is a uh, different. I'm used to pressing down for the dynamite because I am very used to the 2600 version. Yeah, superior graphics here. Hero is a good game. No matter what, uh, how you play it. Oh, I did. I do that every time. Okay. Also better graphics than I think it was the television. Could have been the 5200. Who knows? Played them all. Best version of Hero we played. There. I said it. That's what I meant to say. Doesn't matter which version it was. This never came out on the NES. We just completed the NES library. There may have been a version for this for the 7800, but we haven't got to it yet. I'll be starting the 7200 games tomorrow. Level six. The walls are lava. Kind of thought so. Oh, damn it. I blew myself up in a pit. Game over, man. All right. Graphics. Graphics are good. I'm going to give those a 9. Uh, sound was excellent. We'll give that a 9. Music, there is none. Story, you just rescue miners. Controls, uh, I'll give that an 8.5. Funness, a 8.5. Doesn't hold my attention, an 8.5. And, and overall, we're going to give Hero a 8.5. Actually, let's give it a 9. I feel generous. Hero 9 on the ColecoVision, probably the best version of Hero we've played so far. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you next game.